welcome to rmca spiritual message for christian character formation let us begin this small reflection with a short prayer o oh god i render you thanks for the blessings you have showered on me yesterday through rmca talks o oh jesus help me to practice interior mortification and true humility strengthen me to restrain and conquer myself and to endure all my trials and difficulties for your glory in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen my dear friend when i passed my 10th class exam i had applied to the minor seminary to join the studies for priesthood it was in 1979 although my parents were not in favor of me joining the seminary they did not object to my sending the application to the rector monsignor george manaden after a few days i had a dream that my application was rejected i was very sad and was worried but i did not tell anyone but rather started praying more intensely after a week i got a call a message from the rector through the parish priest that he would be coming to visit the family later i was selected and was admitted in the seminary but this what i want to tell you my dear friend is this prayer is heard if done with a broken heart when you go down on your knees god will stand up for you that's what in matthew 7 7 jesus said ask and it will be given to you seek and you will find knock and it will be open to you these days we hear a lot of motivational speakers telling that what you think will happen so they tell us to always think positively it looks like the power of the mind that is making things to happen but i do not to think it is so it is not so actually it is the power of your faith that works that's why in mark 12 11:24 jesus said therefore i say to you whatever things you ask when you pray believe that you receive them and you will have them there are also moments when god seems not answering our prayers it could be that there are some blocks for us to receive the blessings what we ask for therefore it is good to remember what saint peter tells in his first letter chapter 3 verse 12 the eyes of the lord are on the righteous and his ears are open to their prayers so from this we understand what should be our state of mind what should be our state of soul while praying This means that if it is God's will for us our prayer request will be answered after all God knows what is best for us and sometimes what we pray for would end up hurting us in the long run so we must trust in the God's judgment after all only he knows what is our future what is going to happen to us after few days he knows everything 
we are all very busy once when i uh, was a parish priest i asked a 10 year old boy why he did not come for the sunday mass and he answered me that he did not get a time my god a 10 year old boy telling me that he did not get time he was busy and because of that he could not come for the sunday mass immediately i asked him are you the collector of the town you see even small children are busy they have a ready answer to say that they did not get time the meaning is that there are so many things of their interest to do and therefore there is no time for prayer that is why st paul in colossians chapter 4 verses 2 to 4 said devote yourselves to prayer being watchful and thankful and pray for us too that god may open a door for our message so that we may proclaim the mystery of christ pray that we may proclaim it clearly as i should so we need to pray for each other my dear friend keep me also in your prayers that's all for today let me now give you my apostolic blessing May almighty God bless you the father the son and the holy spirit amen it is good to listen two talks every day one in the morning and another in the evening try this and see how you feel to you my dear friend a special thanks for listening this talk now if you liked this please share it with others god will bless you abundantly for your generosity and goodwill wish you all good things in life in the mission of the church bishop frank komolaki